First up, a former Strike Force champion who has fought and defeated some of the top fighters of this era. Please join me in welcoming Nick Diaz. Good morning, everybody. How are you? <clears throat> who has the first question? Raise your hand. They will bring you a microphone. Uh, I'd like to talk to Nick Diaz. Nick, uh, number one, welcome back. Uh, your last fight was back. Last fight was against GSP back in March of 2013. What has this layoff done for you physically and mentally? You know, it worked out. It worked out. It worked out good. It was a good experience, and um, I think uh, um, you know I, I needed some time off, so it came at the right time. I'm waiting for my fight now. I'm very good. I don't have na na never problem. My leg's good, my back's good. I'm very excited for back, and I'm very excited for staying here today. You know, any fight that's the best fight that I can get, that I'm eligible for, I'm, I've been asking for for most of my career, so now, you know, this time is at hand. So, um, you know, I think it should be uh, good for the fans. I'm training hard for my fight, for Nick Diaz. I'm very excited for back. Thank you. GSP had mentioned you may be making a mistake moving up to 185. I imagine you disagree. Why? George, George didn't take the fight, though. So he is going to run his mouth because he should have took the fight. You can look at it however you want, but, um, you know, a fight's a fight. We're just we're going to have to have a fight at 185 pounds. Thank you. Question for Anderson. There was a report that came out that you signed a 15 fight contract with the UFC. And, and I was wondering if, uh, if you could speak to that, if that was accurate. Yeah, I have more, more fights. <laughs> Nick, you're facing one of the greatest strikers to ever fight in this sport. You made comments earlier that he should retire. He shouldn't come back, and if he does, he should hire a, uh, a striking coach. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't make any of those, uh, I didn't make any of those comments. People have their opinions. I, uh, I, you know, like, I don't like a pick the favorite to win either. Everybody's like, oh, you know, pick, have a, have a you know, pick a favorite. I'm like, you know, we'll see what's going to happen, you know. Uh, you are fighting a guy who, much like yourself, likes to taunt their opponents inside the octagon. Are you prepared for that? Uh, well, you know, I took the fight. Um, it's just... More than I can say for George, he didn't want to take the fight. <laughs> hey, Nick, what's up, Fallen Angel, baby? We here for you, me and James. Oh. Five Ninja. and up, baby. But uh, my first question for John Jones, since no other uh, reporter wanted to ask. Hey, put your hands up. In the, yeah. Right back there. Yeah. All right. That's funny. Oh, there you are. All right. What's up, Nick? How you doing? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. well, no, you got to tell me your whole question again, because I was looking for you the whole time. Are, are you guys done? Are you guys done? Are you done yet? No, are you done? I got ripped off. You told me I did. Okay. And then you owed me some WC DVDs dark, and all the Dark Age DVDs. You never gave them to me. I had to buy them myself. You personally told me you had your camera guy that walks around you that eats all the donuts. Write it down and I never got them. <laughs> you come see me out ba in back and you and I are going to square up, big guy. All right? All right. That's all, all right. good. and a half.
pessoas querem ver. Já é uma nova etapa, né? É uma, é uma, uma outra fase da minha vida. Vamos pra cima, vamos embora. against the grain. You know, he's going to try to walk through me, and, you know, he's not going to walk through me. If this guy stands up in the middle of the cage after he wins a fight and says, hey, I want to fight Nick Diaz. Nick needs motivation. He's got it. He's going to fight George St. Pierre. He fell short at the very end. Still! I want a rematch. I think I can beat you. That's what I think. I didn't really want to climb the rankings all over again. For this fight, I'm, you know, pretty much got the fight that makes the most sense for me to keep fighting. Sweep the leg, Nick. Of course, I'm going to take the fight. Mas foi bacana porque a gente acabou descobrindo outras maneiras de ganhar força com a perna. A gente não mudou muito a minha característica e o que eu fa venho fazendo desde que eu comecei a lutar. Look, we gotta fight. He's a big popular draw. I'm a big popular draw. One hundred miles northeast of San Francisco sits Lodi, California. When I had Nick in my class, it's just the way he was. He, Nick was Nick, and Nick was going to do what he was going to do. And if he felt like doing that at that moment, that's what he was going to do. Kind of started. I just. I didn't mean to pull the fire alarm, but I was screwing with it too much. <laughs> and I ended up pulling it. Since all of this, I looked on YouTube and I've seen some videos of him because I haven't seen him since he was a kid. He's the exact same. Going to a school where it's not so hard, I really stood out as like a hardcore guy when I'm not so hardcore in a hardcore school. He's always told you don't belong here and you know, you're not one of these rich kids. And, and, you know, when he fights, I think he does bring some of that back. And uh, unfortunately for his adversary, that's where that energy goes. I'm ready for the water. January 31. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Cara, na verdade, não é um ritual, né? Eu jogo sempre, é um esporte que eu gosto. A luta é meu trabalho, eu tô no meu, meu, no, na, no meu, meu dia de diversão. Então, eu vou pensar só em luta agora, na segunda-feira. Acabou? Acabou. Acabou. E aí, tá bom, gostando, de, bom demais, cara. É bom, né, cara? <risos> demais. This is your final boarding call for flight 1181, Sirs to Las Vegas. Nick Diaz, please board here at gate B20, please. And once again, Nick Diaz, please board this time here at gate B20. <risos> If we're there 45 minutes before the flight leaves, we're cool because uh, we're already checked in and then I just have to drop off the bags. Cara, eu acho que deu algum problema em algum, algum equipamento do avião e aí por segurança eu acho que eles resolveram trocar o voo. Já, já tem uma outra aeronave.
Okay. It is good. Uh, so up your hands. Up your hands now. Hey, good to see you. Good How to see you, buddy. Hey, you see awesome. You? Awesome. Yeah. Good. Great. You Great. See All right, I'll see you out there. Okay. All right. No disrespect to anybody that's ever coached, but this season, I think we're two of the best coaches ever. Obviously, Anderson Silva, the greatest of all time. All right, guys, I just want to make the announcement Nick Diaz is not attending today's open workouts. There have been reports that Nick was already here, that this is some type of ruse by the UFC. What's... I can assure you Nick is, is not as of this moment in Las Vegas. think of that fan reception there were hundreds of people here just chanting your name all excited to see you work out I'm feel a little scared nervous but my legacy is back and I broke my leg in one year and one year I know fight and I go back now and thank you Dana thank you Lorenzo Joe Silva for everything thank you guys okay. UFC. There's like someone that edits it. Sit there. Yeah. That guy. Who does it? Yeah, we're gonna find that guy. Why? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's go check that way. Make sure you put the right thing. There you go, man. Good. Anderson, as an opponent, is probably the best you can ask for. I mean, what, do you, what more do you want? I fought the three highest paid MMA fighters. Um, in the sport now after this fight. So, you know, if I want to be a big deal like they were, then I got to fight those guys. So we're moving right along here as planned. And you can stop. You can keep the gloves. <laughs> Energy <laughs> winner. Uh, Champ must be in here. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, good to see you, bro. Good to see you as well. Hey, good luck. Yeah, thank you. Good luck right? to you as well. What's hey, up, man? Right. Mm -hmm. good? Yeah, man. <laughs> There you go, beautiful. What's up, How are you, sir? West, man. How are you doing? Good. Uh, uh, What's up, babe? How are you, sir? You're good. Work, go check. Check my age, yeah. no? Oh, yes. Check your weight. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. See? Stop. Sentado aqui? Sentado aqui? What's the mental state of an athlete being out of the sport for a while and then going back into it at the highest level? Nick have a good stand-up, good boxing, good jiu-jitsu. I have good Muay Thai and my jiu-jitsu. So, so. Yeah, we, uh, when we got to the airport, I was like, you know, this is just, I think I'd rather sleep in my own bed tonight. I think they're going to try to jam me up with a bunch of things. Um, yeah, when you go out there, you do 30 fights, 40 fights, whatever, you know, fight some of the best guys out there. Maybe, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying to say, like, I, uh, I'm special. I'm trying to say that, you know, I'm gonna take what I can get and do what I gotta do. <laughs> How you doing, baby? You good? We got a medium? Yeah, we're here. All night long, baby. Shit, that look good to me, baby. Quero voltar. O que tinha que ser feito na perna já foi feito, né? O foco é 100% na luta.
quite the best there is. Just want to thank everybody for standing by me. Everybody back at home, Stockton 209. Thank you for, for standing by me. You know, we're taking on the world here. You know, one fight at a time. I need to say thank you for everything. Thank you for the, all the people in here tonight. And tomorrow, me and Nick, I go to fight for a great show for all the people in here. Thank you. Can't wait. Thank you very much, sir. Anderson Silva, ladies and gentlemen. I feel good to be back, ready to fight. Um, and, you know, we're gonna see a fight. Eu acredito que eu vou estar diferente de do que eu era um ano atrás, né? Uh, vou estar mais experiente. It has become a UFC tradition. Super Saturday. Anderson Silva, who is easily the greatest fighter of all time, but is coming off two losses in a row. Two possibly confidence shattering losses. Earlier tonight, it's the walk UFC fans have wanted to see for over a year. Anderson Silva, his opponent, Nick Diaz. The pride of Stockton, California, is as no nonsense as ever. Look at this. John Jones, <laughs> Roy, Charles, Connor. Connor wants that cash. That's perfect. He's got a ton of it. Perk December 29th of last year. Emergency surgery the same night. He's back to fight Nick Diaz, who debuted at UFC 44. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. Five rounds of fighting in the UFC middleweight division. advantage for the former middleweight champion. <laughs> Good, nice, straight left solid hand. left hand. 
tell you what, Nick Diaz takes a tremendous punch. Oh, Always absolutely. has. Yeah. Oh, hard kick to the body by Anderson. He has a lot of movement. And now he connects. Watch out. Nick Diaz over the top with some right hands. Anderson right there in his face though. <laughs> Relax. Take it easy. That's it. Breathe. Your movement is perfect. And again with that lead kick. Nick is switching stances up quite a bit. Yeah. Now in orthodox. He needs to be more active here. Nick said he felt very strong here at 185. He's carrying more body weight and more muscle than he usually has. That upward elbow just missed again. Anderson picking it up. The flying knee. Diaz with a right hand over the top. And Nick's starting to get busted up a little bit, Joe. He ripped that right hook to the body there. And nice. Right hand over the top. You can see the damage on the face of Nick Diaz. The difference in speed, though, the way Anderson's able, look at that, the way he's able to deliver his strikes, very noticeable. Leg kick by Anderson again with that formerly wounded leg. Good right hands by Anderson. He spins and just misses. And the counter. Left hand over the top by Diaz. And again, right hand that time landed. Big round in total strikes for Anderson Silva. Third round, fourth round, let's go. Look at this. Right hook by Anderson. In there, he threw a kick. GSB, Condit, and KJ News. Anderson going up high with that front leg round kick. And trying to be ultra effective here on the floor. You know he wants to stop him, but the same obviously can be said for Diaz. Nick's just having a really hard yeah. time reaching on him. Really see the difference in speed now. Good kick. Silva trying to counter now. Caught him. Nice leg kick by Anderson. Came Very across nice. the body there, Joe. Good elbow over the top by Nick Diaz. Beautiful leg kick. Again, he comes across the body with that kick. That right hook, left leg kick combination is very nice for Anderson. Where he's just having a really hard time reaching him. You, close. close. Put it on in the slip. Don't, don't get over aggressive, but make him fight you. You got this. You got it. You got it, Nick. This Anderson looks like the Anderson of old right now, Mike. He sure does. Very loose, very relaxed. I think he was going to be frustrated. He would have been. There's a nice left hand by Nick Diaz. Anderson just missed with a kick. Now pushes forward again. Good left hand over the top by Diaz. And he's under with well. Silva. He hasn't even tried to check one of them. Anderson punches and bunches. Yeah, you think about it. This is a guy who took out light heavyweights. James Irvin. Oh. Stephen Bonner. Forrest Griffin, a former world champion. Elbow. Oh, yeah. Nick is all busted up under the eye. Yeah, his left eye looks pretty bad now. They are going to go the distance. Returning for the first time in 399 days. And look at this. Champion and champion. And here we see Anderson. Very nice works, worksman-like performance here. And Anderson Silva's reaction at the end of the fight. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Anderson the Spider! This is for the people in here. This is no bad for, this is no bad man. This is Nick Diaz. This is the show. This is the UFC. Thank you. Thank you. God bless all the people here. Thank you. Anderson Silva, ladies and gentlemen. Anderson, this has been a little crazy after the fight. How are you feeling? Uh, tired. Yeah, tired, tired from the fight and also tired from all these media obligations? No. Was Nick a worthy adversary tonight? Were, were his antics bothering you or was that okay to you? 
No, okay, this is Nick. I respect the Nick family. Nick is the great fight, and I'm so happy. And first of all, can you evaluate both uh, your impression of Nick and Anderson tonight, and especially uh, in the case of Anderson, you know, first fight back, what your thought was? Nick Diaz alone is usually a guy who, who will stalk you down taunt you and throw but throw hundreds of punches um and anderson silva usually throws punches kicks knees you know if he was just trying to get the five rounds or you know i don't know i wasn't in there fighting but i just expected a lot more a lot more output you know he's lost three in a row in the st pierre fight you know two of the three all three judges had it you know, you know five zero tonight two of the three had it five zero what do you do with him given you know, the fact that he has popularity, but he only wants big fights, and then you have, you know, the, the record that he has. Nick made a lot of money tonight. You might not see him for three years this time. Can you kind of give your assessment of how Anderson looked physically? Obviously, he was coming off of, of, of an injury and, and sort of a mental hurdle to clear, but physically, as a 39-year-old, how did you think he was moving out there? I, I think there were a lot of other issues, but he, he physically looked good. He physically looked strong. He was in great shape, um, made weight easy, and, and, you know, you saw little hints of the old Anderson when he would start to move. It was, it was almost like he was tentative tonight. It wasn't that he didn't have it, it was that he was tentative. I fight for a long time in here in UFC. It's the first time in my life I have the big opponent for fight. I respect Nick. Nick is the great fight tonight. I need to say thank you, Nick, because it's the great test for me.